Hi everyone, I'm Donna from What the Redhead Said. I've decided recently that I quite like filming videos. As much as I hated filming them in the beginning and was really, really nervous, I actually quite like sitting here in my bedroom talking to myself on camera. So I've decided to start joining in with um, Colette and Katie's Vlog Stars Linky, which opens every month, and they give us a topic to talk about. This month, it's Guilty Pleasures. And so I've been racking my brains for my biggest guilty pleasures to talk to you about, but I'm only allowed to talk about five. I've got quite a few, I think. Um, so let's get going. My first guilty pleasure is Ant and Deck. Now you're probably thinking that's not so much a guilty pleasure, that the whole of the UK loves Ant and Deck. They're everywhere on so many TV shows and it's only natural to just love them a little bit. But I've loved Ant and Deck since they were PJ and Duncan on Biker Grove, since PJ had that paintballing accident and got blinded and then they launched their music career with Ready to Rumble and I had all their albums, yeah they have more than one, I had posters on my ceiling, I had a scrapbook and I bought smash hits to look for every little mention of them every time it came out, was it weekly, monthly, I don't know, but I had it and I cut little pictures of them out and I stuck them all in scrapbooks and I loved them and when I grew up I was going to marry Declan Donnelly I loved him and so now I still love Ant and Dec, but I love them because I loved them so much when I was younger <laughs> and I know all their songs, I know all the words to all their songs and I've still got their albums yeah, guilty pleasure number two, 80s and 90s music I think my musical knowledge pretty much stopped at the year 2000 I love music really love music but I love older music and current music just completely goes over my head I know a song I sing along to it on the radio do I know who sang it I haven't a clue who sang it but older music I love it completely know all the words can dance to it kind of although not publicly and I can I know loads of old music I listen to magic in the radio or local radio that plays really old songs only current music I know is Coldplay, yeah I don't know the names of their songs anymore, I haven't got a clue, and Ed Sheeran. Apart from that my musical knowledge is old, my musical tastes are old, and sorry my cat's here, hello! So she's probably getting in on the video. Okay. Um, my biggest guilty pleasure is probably pyjamas. I love pyjamas, I would live in pyjamas if I was allowed to. Every day could be a PJ day and I'd be so happy. There is nothing nicer than a new pair of pyjamas and I've got so many pairs and I'm not afraid to admit the fact that if we get in from the school run and I have no other plans, I'm not going to see anyone, no one's going to come knocking at the door or need me for anything, I'll put my pyjamas on and it's the nicest thing ever. I spend as much of the day as possible in my pyjamas and I love it proper biggest guilty pleasure ever pajamas next we have facebook now i had a love hate relationship with facebook for a very long time when it first came out i loved facebook i signed up like everyone else did in like what was it 97 or something and loved it all my friends were on there you'd add all your old school friends and people you didn't really like at school and you'd stalk them and find out more about them find out what they're doing now and look at their pictures and have a laugh and then Facebook just got a bit much people were posting on there like five times a day about what they had for dinner and uh all those statuses that would be like oh I'm feeling really frustrated but then wouldn't tell you why they were feeling frustrated and I hated it just really hated it so I moved over to Twitter and I loved Twitter for a very long time but over the last year or so I've fallen back in love with Facebook and now I love it I spend so much time on Facebook. I've got my blog Facebook page, I've got my personal page, and I've got blogging Facebook groups, and I just spend so much time on it. It's such a time waster, but because I now work from home, it's quite sociable too, being on Facebook. I feel like there are actual people there that listen, that respond, that talk, and if you're ever feeling lonely or anything, there's always someone on Facebook. Um, so Facebook is probably a guilty pleasure. I love it. But I don't know whether you're, you're allowed to love Facebook anymore, but I do. I love Facebook. And number five, 
what is my fifth guilty pleasure? Don't know if I can admit this, actually, on video. But, so my last guilty pleasure, but I'm not sure whether I can admit on camera, is cold KFC. Yeah, not just cold though, like, you have to buy it in the evening and have like a family feast or a bargain bucket and all of those big breast bits of chicken with the coating on and everything, there's always too many of them. So you put it in the fridge, just in the bucket, in the fridge, and then have it the next day straight out of the fridge cold. Fridge cold, KFC. So nice. So nice. Literally the best thing ever. I love it. Um, and that's probably it. That is my last guilty pleasure. So, five guilty pleasures of mine are Anton Deck, 80s and 90s music, pyjamas, Facebook and cold KFC. If you would like to join in, you can go and check out Colette, we're going on an adventure, and Katie from what Katie said, and look at everyone else who's linked up and look at their videos too. And they run this every month, and I'm going to be joining in as much as I can, as long as I've got something to talk about. You can also... If you've liked listening to me ramble, you can click the thumbs up down below and subscribe. Thanks for listening and I'll come back to talk about something else soon. Bye.